Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Joel Bay here. Jody and Les Scott, who's been with us all week, man. Thanks for staying on and cool, man. allowing us to do different segments. And of course, the villain himself, Mr. <laughs> Stephen Housen. Okay, so this is a new series that we're doing called This or That. It's real simple. We pick this or that. Could be players, managers, teams, anything. So let's get it rolling. Prime R9 or Prime Messi? R9's the, the greatest player I've ever seen me he just he yeah the way he made me feel what as a fan yeah different and I think the only thing that he probably has in a that is an advantage to Messi in this argument is that he was playing against a great a greater era of defender who are nine yeah I think the, the level of defenders that he faced was a greater era but Messi didn't play against any slouches either no, no I'm not saying that I'm just saying he was greater I never said it wasn't one was I think Crappy. there was less protection for R9 as well. Oh, definitely kicked up and down. There's nothing you're going to do about it either. Yeah, they it? try to rip his shirt yeah. off him. The referee's like, what's yeah. your problem? Carry on. Yeah, man. yeah. And, and, him, yeah. And he did it every level, didn't he? Like, I'm not saying up until he won the World Cup, but before that, there was question marks. Oh, he has to win the World Cup. R9 did that. He didn't win the Champions League, though. Yeah, but he did it in the Champions League. He, he still did bits. His record is, is, is nice in every team he played for. It is. And I'm not trying to discredit yeah, yeah. R9, by the way, because he's my favourite player of all time. That's what I'm saying, my favourite, yeah. Yeah, but but it's hard for me to say that he is yeah. like the best okay. yeah, in, yeah. in their prime years. Because I find what watching I've seen, him more entertaining. Yeah, yeah but because he was, he was my first love. So it's different. Yeah, but yeah. if I'm actually to take what Messi's done, I feel like sometimes we disrespect Yeah, Messi's been him. pretty good, like. He's been, been decent, decent, yeah, decent, 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 decent. Prime, like, by the way. But his prime has been the whole career. He's not, not had a prime. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So who are we? Who are no, we he, he, overall, you're gonna say. And forget you, your forget our personal feeling. Okay. If you were to take it for what it is, I'd rather play against. Okay, I would rather play against a prime Messi than a prime R9. Why? Because I, I, I think he can do everything and more. On his given day, you're 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 assessing it on the longevity, but what could any of them do that the other couldn't? And Ronaldo was then physically superior. You've seen the size of him; he's shocked. That's the only reason I'm saying you saw him. I didn't get to meet him oh, in no, Qatar. Yeah. I wish I could. I could I could be a real fan. I could be a real fan. I could have cuddled him. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. Did you? And it was like cuddling a bear. I'm not good at him as well. You, Steve, won't, you don't that understand day, Steve was just like, yeah, I'm just stepping out. Like, where are you going? Nowhere, nowhere. Just stepping out. Comes back. He's got Ronaldo in his vlog. I was heartbroken. <laughs> Honestly, I, it was like a night is who United should have signed. It was Batch Stewart, a Cliver, R9. I'm picking, Robbie I'm picking, King. I'm picking Prime Messi. Okay. I am. Steve? <clears throat> R9. No evaluation, right? Just R9, yeah. But do you want an evaluation? <sighs> Make it Like quick. you said, fell in love with football watching that guy. Yeah, man. But this is not what I'm after. But let's go for R9. All right, question two: Roy Keane or Vieira? Vieira, hmm. for me. Vieira. For me I think as well. we, I think we had this discussion though, not about them two players, but again, like Roy Keane was probably a bit before I was focused on football, having a career and stuff, and also like Vieira changed recruitment. Like he was a game changer. He, he was like you had then had to be six foot two, have these attributes to be considered a midfielder or, or whatever and I'm saying yeah, for that yeah man he was he was up to no good for a long period we've spoken to quite a few players um, surprisingly like they'll tell you like Patrick Vieira was like the hardest player they've had to come yeah. to come against like loads of players even players that didn't play directly in midfield with him like Joe Cole when we spoke to him like all these guys they're like Vieira I think that's what, and I think Roy bar. Keane would say he's his hardest and I'm not saying it's Patrick true. wouldn't say Roy Keane is but yeah, the yeah. fact that everyone else is saying him yeah should yeah, give him that which is true um, Steve Patrick Vieira yeah? I can't look past Roy Keane yeah, yeah. in terms of um, what he brought that's because you can't take off your Man United glasses no, that's nothing to do with Man United glasses I'm talking about the the, the, the level I saw from Roy Keane 2000-2001 sort of time you know when you think what's your enduring memory for United fans the enduring memory of, of Vieira is yeah those battles with Roy mm. Keane but also the assist for gigs you know, when you think of what's your enduring <laughs> memory of Roy Keane, it's you idiot. It's dragging a team yeah, and setting he standards in a team. Did he score the penalty? Did he score the penalty in the FA Cup final as well? Um, yeah, yeah, no. Um, Two thousand five. Yeah, it was penalty shootout though, innit? So, yeah, but what, still, yeah. still win the title. Yeah, yeah like, listen, I'm, hey, I'm a Vieira middle. guy, innit? But yeah. anyway, let, let him struggle for Keane. Roy, Roy Keane gets labelled as some sort of thug. People don't understand. 
This is a tough one. Prime Henri or Prime Mbappe? Nah. Is Mbappe even in his prime though? No, and I don't think at the moment when you look at yeah, you how good they were, it, it's Henri and don't talk to me at the moment. I don't know about it. Not, don't talk to me. That's I don't it, know that's if it's you, that. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's Henri, Henri, but it's not don't talk oh, to someone's me. Someone's coming. It's don't talk to me. Don't yeah. talk to me. Didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, the World Cup yeah. level has gone and said, I'm yeah, the he had, guy. he had an unbelievable World two, Cup. He's had two but, unbelievable World Cups. But <sighs> can he do what on, like you just said about R9 and Messi, yeah. can he do what Henri did? No, I think he can do the goal scoring and I think he can leave defenders for dust. But I think the playmaking of Henri was no, very, yeah. very I, good. I don't feel Henri gets anywhere <clears throat> near the credit he should yeah. on the world level. Yeah. Like, it's funny because even in France, yeah, you know, they don't like really regard him as high as. But for France, I don't France. think he was the guy for France. I don't he was all time goal scorer, man. Yeah, I know, but I don't think he, was, I mean? he wasn't like. He was, not sure. <laughs> he wasn't doing. Um, <laughs> Like the performances wasn't there, like he was for Arsenal. I don't know about that, man. Like, well, yeah, I he take, wasn't I take past man. He wasn't. But if you look at, man. if you look, maybe not as much. But if you take it back to, like, for me, that that was my guy. So from yeah, oh, guy. from from especially from two thousand and onwards, I think ninety eight in the World Cup, he, he did like he did well, scored three goals. But I think from the year two thousand after yeah. his first season at Arsenal, my man was on another oh. planet for France. But you're right. I think there weren't enough moments like when that, he played against Brazil. Players, though, yeah, well. yeah, Zidane, Zidane and, and, and you know Vieira, what I mean. Vieira, the the Makaleles. He went. He played for but, it. Yeah, but them, that performance at the Bernabeu in the yellow kit. No way. Where was you watching that? At home. Is it? Yeah, but he was skipping through man. That was like the that's the mad thing in it with Champions League, especially when watching other teams. A lot of the memories is TV watching yeah. for yeah. it. Yeah, in, incredible Ramos, stuff. Carlos, just skipping past man. Ah, man. Yeah takes you to another level yeah. <laughs> this one's easy in it prime rooney prime owen it's got to be prime rooney uh, i'm not disregarding it's not easy though mm. that's what i'm saying it, it is rooney it is it rooney, is rooney but, but it's like, it mad that one's got a ballon d'or that's one what don't. i'm saying to win a ballon d'or like you know that's what, disregarded he man. won a ballon d'or with 16 goals marcus rashford's got that already this season but this is what i'm saying no, no, I'm about, about what they goals. won was different though that year yeah so man, it's got to be you got to be the plastic treble no one's respecting that no it was actually a quadruple to no be one. fair, no it was. One. It was. It was the fake triple. You take that this year. Yeah, I would take that this year, <laughs> exactly. but I won't, be, I won't be demanding a Ballon d'Or for it. If Marcus Rashford, I won't be demanding them, a Ballon d'Or. If, if he scores in them finals, I won't be demanding yeah, a Ballon d'Or. Vincent Company or Virgin Van Dyke? Vinny. Vinny. You said yeah. that too easy, man. Yeah. You know what? You're right. I'm not even. I'm not even no, argue. You're right. You're right. You're right. Don't but remember. You, don't remember Vincent Company trying to tackle people by staring at them. I'm not, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. Van Dijk is up there, and he's, and he's, and he's serious, there. and he's serious. But yeah, he's probably top. How do you, he's probably top three or four Liverpool defenders. Honest, of honest the question: League How do you rank yourself against Virgil? No, I can't, I can't, I can't, let, wait, let's be honest here, because you do. You're a defender. You're a yeah, centre back. Different. You sit there and you think. Mm. What do you mean? Like you'll think that you'll think about yourself. Like you know what? I reckon I'm better than. I reckon you answer that off camera. No, I was better than Virgil. No, but. You're too. We have different, different attributes. We have different styles as well. You're too. Um, you're too nice with some of your responses mm. on camera. If you feel like you're better nah, than him, nah, yeah, I say it. Nah, I don't. I honestly, don't feel that. No, nah, nah, Joel was a bit more combative. They're not the same. Yeah, nah. Joel was more relatable to Vinny, really. Yeah, I was. Um, it's different because people ask me that. Like, I had to adapt when I went to City because yeah. I knew I had to be Vinny's best partner. You like, said this before. Yeah, so it's different. So like I, I was able to adapt where the way Vinny was playing, I play, probably played like that at Wolves and Everton. You know what I mean? Got the, you. The, the front foot defender. Yeah. The one that steps in and, and does all that stuff. But mm -hmm. then when you get to there, it's like, well, this has to work and he's going to play. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll, I'll just change it up a little bit. Did you see him becoming a manager? Um, yeah, Vinny. Vinny well, I'd, if Vinny was the president of... Belgium or Congo, it wouldn't surprise me. He's, Congo. Yeah, he's, I heard it was a long time ago that he was the one that led analysis sessions at City. No, no. Well, we used to do, um, we didn't lead them, but we used to do like um, defensive sessions. Before, this was before they were official team sessions. We used to come down um, as defenders and just go through the previous game and critique him. But it was all of us in there. All of us was contributing. And again, it's again, not doing him a disservice, but the Vinny that, Say he's, he's viewed at the end wasn't the Vinny when I joined there because we had Colo Torre mm. who come as captain, we had Carlos Tevez who was the captain, we had Gareth Barry who was a captain, we had Nigel Young, um, Patrick Vieira was there, you know what I mean? So he grew into 
the, the person he is. Yeah. And we've yeah. seen that coming. Yeah. That was molded by other players in that dressing room as well. Uh, next question. Sorry, Steve, I, I'm, I'm not even asking. I don't know why I'm asking because you're going to say, you're going to say company anyway. So it's all right. My hook is better. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Aguero Ooh. or Van Nistelrooy? I think they're so different in players yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. very different. It depends. Don't care. Is, it, is it Aguero playing for City or Rude playing for City? Or is That's it Aguero playing for United no, 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 in that area no. or, or Rude playing for United is, in that is, area? This is how I would judge that. I would say if, if you swapped them over, I think Aguero still scores the amount of goals he scored for United. I'm I think Rude sure. scores more. For, then, for City? Yeah, especially in playing in a Pep system. I think but That Rude, one is prime. Rude that was, one is prime. Rude was prime filth. Was, I'll give you before that now. With Man what, you think uh, Aguero's prime was Mancini era? I think it was just, just overlapping like Pellegrini. I agree. Pellegrini and uh, and Pep. Mm. And he come and did it when there was nothing, like City hadn't won anything. Peter Schmeichel or Edwin van der Sar? This, I'll, I'll go with Austin. Edwin. Ed, oh, wow. I'll go Edwin as yeah, well. Do you know what it was? Yeah. Schmeichel was unbelievable. Edwin was unbelievable. They were both unbelievable, both genuine world class, best in the world at the time when they were both playing. But Schmeichel benefited from a little bit that some players benefit from in terms of like because they did it in a flashy, eye catching way, it caught the eye more and you notice what they're doing a little bit more. Whereas Edwin, I mean, Edwin broke a record for a consecutive clean sheet. It's just quiet, mm -hmm. organized. And you can go, okay, well, look who they were playing in front of. They both had brilliant defenses in front of them. I just lean just ever so slightly towards Edwin. I'm talking like fifty-one percent. Yaya Toure or Kevin De Bruyne? Yeah, yeah. For me, despite everything that KDB's done. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just going off. That's me, and I'm biased because I played with him as well. But he had a season. Two. No, no, no. He had a season that I don't think has been matched by any midfielder. He's got twenty goals, eleven assists, which is obviously unique but his pass accuracy for the season was 90 percent <laughs> this is pre and, and when he was known and we won the title but he weren't dicking it around at defense yeah, as well that was like that stat there i don't Who know player the year that year not him yeah not him disgrace is a disgrace <laughs> it was a joke i can't even believe he didn't win it it was it was off key and he scored a goal in um the league cup final winning goal yeah you know my it. thoughts on yaya yeah monster Absolute monster. No, no, for me. Just just for that. I think they both do as whatever they do and it's but that season, that's not normal. Was he doing that in training as well? Not no. really. Was he We knew he could Was he do vocal? It. Was he vocal leader or did he just nah, do his nah, thing? Nah, he just did it. He just did what he did. I think the, that I think that was probably the the start of the, the leaders not having to be the most vocal. It was just like, I'll win the game. <laughs> but we respect that. Last chance to free kick Beckham or Bale. It's Beckham. <laughs> Hands down. Everyone knows that, man. Oh, I, I don't want to sound if disrespectful. You ask, even, I don't want to sound even disrespectful. If you ask, even if you ask but, Real Madrid but barring the, barring fans. The, um, Steve will know. Steve, this is why I'm asking Steve. Go right? You're going to know. Barring the Greece one, what was the pressure ones he scored? Barcelona, Champions League. What was the score? Three all, innit? Two yeah. all. Two all. Um, there was a lot in the league last minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not just genuine. I can't remember Bale's ones for Wales. You're right. Who did he score? Nah, Who did no, he score right. for England? No, 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 no. He scored Beckham yeah, scored from for England. Greece, no, no, Greece no. no. Oh, that's the obvious. That's the that's the Beckham free kick. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he scored in World Cups for England from the free kick Columbia. as well. Columbia. Was that but a free that, kick yeah, or a penalty? Yeah, it was a free Columbia. kick. It was a free Columbia. kick. Yeah, but, but I'm saying pressure. It's last minute, right. so that's why I'm saying the circumstances here. Yeah. Right. That one in Greece. Overall. That one in Greece. When you think of everything that's happened with David Beckham and England. Yeah, but we can't base the whole career off that one. Is moment. what he's saying. And it. Bale, like he didn't he's had a few. Get to the World Cup just now. He's had a few. He's had a few. Yeah. I don't. I'm Let's like. I changed I understand, my mind. I understand. <laughs> I changed I'll my mind. Him. I'll I'll if you play for Wales. That's everything. Uh, yeah. But I don't think the pressure of playing for England, nah, being you... David Beckham, with what had gone on three years before, is comparable to being no, Gareth no, Bale. But that's not the question, though. That's not the question. That's not the question. Factors in. It's the 90th minute, Your yeah. Life's on the line. David Beckham stepping up. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> stepping up, man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I think they're both hitting the target. I'm going Gareth Bale. Oh, he's changed. Yeah, what are you saying? Seeing as though we're not allowed Janino Panambucano, it's got to be David Beckham. Or Ward Prowse. 
Well, Prowse is yeah, well, sure. going to break Beckham's yeah, record. Do Beckham's record that. still stands, and he finished half of his career playing in America and yeah. Real Madrid and Paris. Yeah, that's how man might take a free kick spin like that. Take it easy. Yeah, serious. but so who are you picking then? Um, uh, springs to mind. Bale springs to mind. All right, so I you're going Bale, yeah? yeah. Well, in the last minute. Steve? Oh, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bale it is. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of This or That. Let us know what questions you want us to ask. Uh, write them in the comments. We're more than happy to ask. And yeah, thank you again, Jolien, for being with us. Oh, man. Listen, thank man, you. please come back. Thanks. Don't, don't, don't just choose a better week to come back. Oh, you know no, what I mean? Like, like, oh, I no, yeah. Sound man. Sound man. Joe texted me and was like, yeah, you coming down? I was like, yeah, coming down. Come on. I thought you were going to win. So did I. That's why I, I said I was coming down. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching and uh, make sure you stay tuned for more coming up. Peace.